Hi there, um, welcome to this devotion. Many years ago I had this young country surveyor that I sent to his first site that was out of town. So as his first day at work on site I made sure I was there just to check that he got everything right, you know, and that introduce him to the team, you know, that whole sort of thing. And when he arrived on site, he was dressed as if he was going to the beach. Okay, I'm exaggerating. He didn't have slops on or anything like that. But he had these white tackies on. And luckily I managed to catch him before the whole team met him. So I asked him if the company had given him safety boots. And he said to me, yes, they did. And a hard hat and a reflective vest too, he said. So where on earth are they? And he said to me, well, in case you haven't figured out at this stage, I was a bit upset. And he said to me that he left them at home. So I sent him home to go get his safety equipment. I mean, I t and I told him, while you're there at home putting on your safety boots, do me a favor and put on a decent shirt too. Um, not the best start. And years later, um, we laughed about it and we had many a joke at him about it. Um, he actually turned out to be a good guy. And... Um, like I say, we laughed and, and we, we teased him a lot about it. And he ended up teasing me about being an old guy that, that wants people to dress so smart when they come to work, you know, and all that sort of thing. But it occurred to you that we worship a God that sends. There are many occasions, and, and should I rather say, the number of times that I find God sending someone, it's quite fascinating. Like God sent Jesus into the world. To do this whole host of things and and one of the important things that jesus came on earth to do was to repair this relationship between us and god to repair this relationship between us and others to us and ourselves and us in creation and there's such a lot that jesus achieved by coming to to the world that there's such a lot that jesus achieved by obeying the command to be sent and then god afterwards sent the holy spirit into the world the spirit and and the, and the spirit is sent to be in us to remind us of of our status and our and our state that's all wrong in relationship to god and and then the spirit helps us to to get our status with god sorted out you know to get into a right status the the, the spirit points out to us uh, points to our lives and helps us make that commitment to have a right relationship with God. And then, and then the, the Spirit helps us, improves the state of our heart and the state of who we are. And every day our hearts and our minds are, are made a little bit better than what it was yesterday because the Spirit helps us and, and strengthens us and empowers us to improve. And, and with the Spirit in our hearts, the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of God in our hearts, we are sent. We are sent into the world around us, into our community, to, to help out the least, the last, and the lost. And, and we are equipped to go and, and make a difference. We are equipped to go and make a very real difference into the lives of people around us. And we are equipped not, not, not with a hard hat and reflective vest and safety boots. We are equipped with the Spirit, the Spirit of God in us, the Spirit of Jesus in us. Without the Spirit, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make a mess of things. We we're gonna we're gonna really turn things sour if we try and do it without the Spirit. But but with the Spirit in us, we are sent to do this work of God. God God sends us baptized in the Spirit, equipped in the Spirit, saturated in the Spirit. God sends us with the Spirit to be used by the Spirit, to empowered by the Spirit, to touch the lives, the, the very core of the lives of the least, the lost, and the lost. So May, May 2024 be a time where you find yourself sent by God. And May 2024 be a time where you find yourself equipped with the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Jesus, to make a very real difference in the life of others in your own life and in creation but until we meet again god bless